there's an easy way to climb the gate. I was gonna say they probably just closed it because of the the snow and it's been weather. A lot recently, but you can climb it over there. You see those like chains against the pole? You can use that shit to take a ladder. You're not skating the babes today? No, just regular skate shoes today. They're just like a little bit big and they're starting to show like some wares of skate, so. Yeah, I remember you saying you didn't like the way they felt on that tray clip at the yeah, yard. It was like I had a little extra space on the toe, so I couldn't really like, yeah. I had to adjust it like put my foot back. Well, <sighs> oh, never stop hopping fences. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I wish I didn't throw my board in the ground like a dagger. I really don't come here too much just because it's kind of like kind of far from where I live in Jersey. And I kind of forgot how unique and cool this place is. There's a lot of different like obstacles here that you don't really normally see or get at skate parks. And that's something that kind of adds to the value of this plaza. This park was actually rated one of the friendliest parks in Jersey like a few years ago. But a lot of people don't like coming here because they think that they're going to get robbed or their shit's going to get stolen. There definitely has been a lot of people who have gotten robbed here. Oh, well, I wonder why they think that way then. So uh, we are going to warm up. We are going to skate this place. But I'm going to let Severino start things off for you guys today. I'll hold you. I'm just kidding. Stay out of the way. Milo, watch out. Watch out. Ah. That was close. Dude, every time. One more. Three times already. Every single time tray flip was asked. I don't know. Really hard care. flip next if you want. Don't you have to go home, dude? Don't we have to like bring you home so you can pick up your girlfriend? Alright. Alright, fine. One, one more. One more. And you'll give me ten dollars if I land it. If you land this, I'll give you ten dollars. Really? <laughs> I'm just pulling up to the skate park here in Monroe City, Missouri, which is like a very rural farm town in Northeast Missouri. And two things happen every single time I come to this park. 
Number one is I have to sweep the entire park out. For whatever reason, every time I come here, there are a million like rocks and sticks, twigs, little acorns and seeds and just things all over this little tiny skate park. And the skate park is really small, so it gets to the point where like you can't even ride your board in a straight line without catching a, a rock with your wheel and falling forward. So I sweep it. And the other thing that happens is it challenges me as a skater because it is a small, crappy skate park that's kind of out of date. And, you know, as you can see, there's not much to this place. So it does challenge me as a skater to kind of like try and make things work here um, or at least practice tricks. Hey man, it's, it's better than nothing. When this is all you got, sometimes you got to deal with what you got and make something of it. So obviously, with all that being said, yes, this park is small. Yes, it's cruddy, but that's okay, man. Work with what I'm given. So like right now I'm, I'm trying front side no slides, which for me, this is a really, really hard trick. I've never really been good at getting into them. I have never been good at holding one or really like being able to pop out of one or just even just slide one for a long time. And like today I'm trying them. Some of them stick, some of them slide. It's like they're always either too hot or too cold but I've managed to land a few. I'm just waiting to get that one that like really feels right, that I'm on top of it and like sliding it and coming out good. Sometimes that's just like the move, man. You're at a skate park that's kind of limited. Practice tricks that you don't normally do or try. Try to learn something new. Have fun skateboarding again. Jesus Christ, just do it. I don't know, man. I bet you if that bench was like any longer than it is right now, I probably wouldn't have came out of the front side no slide like the way it seems like I did. It's all an illusion. Like I, I really don't think my weight is all too much on top of there, but I am getting a bit of slide and distance more so than I've ever gotten before with that trick. So I'm gonna write it off as a win. Yeah, great day. Subscribe for more great days.